Yes, thank you. Um, there are three names uh, on, the, on the bottom. Uh, two of the three names are uh, present here. Fred Muller uh, and Ben Nolten is uh, uh, writing his meals to the uh, Netherlands uh, about, uh, about the result of this talk, I guess. Well, the agenda for this talk is as follows. Um, I first want to sketch you uh, three, three scenarios in which we uh, uh, think about OER at the Open University in the Netherlands. Uh, and we, uh, but the main uh, uh, subject of this talk is about the research we have undertaken, or we still undertaken, uh, about uh, preferences for each of the scenarios and what, uh, 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 what effects the presence, uh, the, 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 appeal, the appealing of these scenarios uh, for potential customers of the open university. Uh, those results of this uh, research will be presented and some conclusions uh, we will end with. Well, first, uh, something about uh, our history on OER at the open university. Uh, the first experiment uh, started in 2006, uh, we called it OpenR. Uh, OER in the Netherlands is an, uh, has another uh, connotation. Which, uh, which has a completely different meaning than uh, open education resources. We have called it opener, more open it means in the Netherlands. Um, and the, uh, the, the goal of this experiment was to find out if offering free courses would affect widening participation in higher education. Because of this, uh, the, 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 uh, the results of this experiment and the, uh, the, the experiences we had, there was a task force which, uh, which uh, got assigned to think about uh, uh, possibilities that, o, that the OU could uh, be more uh, doing with, the o, with OER and not at the, well, uh, at the uh, outskirts of the OU but in the heart of the OU. And then there uh, was uh, uh, the, the, the task of this task force and it resulted in an experiment which I will call, uh, talk about later on. And uh, the uh, research uh, I'm talking about now is uh, started in 2010, and it was uh, 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 titled "Two as an OER Business Model for the OUNL in the National Context." And I will talk about part of the research. Before I want to start with this uh, research, uh, uh, something about the OU educational model because it differs. Uh, from what regular universities like MIT or Utah State or what university uh, uh, is, is offering, uh, what we offer is supported open learning or uh, tutored self-study. Um, we have high quality learning materials which I will talk about uh, later on. Uh, it is developed for independent learning. Uh, uh, the, the, the student should uh, uh, be able to, to take this content and learn the content without or with as less as possible uh, contact with, uh, uh, with tutors and this uh, integrated didactic and tutoring elements are an integral part of the uh, learning materials. Um, when you think about and we think about open education, you have the, the OER at one thing and open learning services which open not uh, all should, uh, uh, should uh, uh, who have to be free. There are services also where uh, complementary to uh, OER where you can pay for it and where a variety of services is uh, listed there. Well, now about the research. There are three scenarios which we wanted to research. The current scenario, this, this is the model which the OU is using now. Uh, we are offering short courses like in o Opener, those are uh, among 25 study hours uh, which uh, can be taken uh, any study and it is uh, more or less uh, for marketing purposes. Uh, there is also a 10% scenario which say uh, for each course we offer, for each regular course, 10% is offered as OER. Um, and there are currently running two pilots uh, which are using this model, uh, learning and technology and informatics uh, and, uh, to find out what, what does it mean uh, uh, in, in development of the course but also in offering uh, additional uh, services etc. And there is a 100% scenario which is uh, currently under study and there all the course materials are offered uh, open but with a, a, with a bug using split component model which I will talk about later. 
The research was commissioned by OUML, and this research was performed by the uh, Institute of Settings Data, Research Institute of the Tilburg University. Um, more schematic the, uh, about the, uh, the three scenarios. Um, it is, uh, what you see here is how a course is built up, a, a, a course in the, in the current situation. You see uh, the, the content, which is the bare content. You see uh, some exercises, practices, self-tests, those, those are the, those, uh, those elements. You see the didactics and the guidance, the tutoring, which is also part of the uh, course. And you see the uh, assignment, uh, examination, and additional services like tutoring, meetings regularly with the students, uh, communities, etc. Um, this is, it, it, it does not say that each course has one, two, three, four, five of those uh, building blocks. It can be 20, it can be 10, it can be uh, whatever, but it's only for the sake of uh, that you know about how the course is open. The OER part is, uh, is so the, the short courses, which is the mini courses in the current situation, is only about this code. So this is the current situation. In the 10% scenario, uh, it looks uh, almost the same as the current, uh, but <coughs> instead of the OER uh, as being a part of this, is the OER part of the course, this is of the OER, but you see only the content, not any of the services, but still the content with the exercise, with the practice, with the tutoring, so that the student can uh, go to, through it by him or herself. In the 100 percent so, and this is the split component model, um, in uh, contrast with the all-inclusive model, which is uh, actually in the other uh, scenarios, um, you see the OER is only the component, and the rest are uh, yeah, offered uh, apart, so split from the content. So in this way, you can offer the content for free. It, it means redesign of the current courses instead of where uh, everything is uh, uh, woven in and everything is uh, intermingled. Um, you take out those didactical elements and offer them apart from the content, which makes it easier to offer only the content for free. And so when we talk about a 100% scenario, only the green parts, this, these blocks are offered uh, open, the rest is not offered. The research question we had was, okay, what will be now effects in combinations of OER, additional services, the level of services, variations in pricing on the behavior of students in terms of paid subscription? Because especially when you offer the content 100% for free, the, the, uh, all the content 100% for OER, it can have the effect that people say, okay, I'll take the, the OER, I don't, I don't bother about all the other services, and uh, so instead of buying a course where I get uh, all, uh, all these learning materials also, I'm only, uh, I, buy, I don't buy anything. And we wanted to see uh, for what services uh, were appealing to customers and what uh, level of pricing, what combination of services will be appealing. Uh, and also the, uh, uh, combined, uh, compared with the current situation, the 10% and the 100% scenario. The design for this uh, research, there were 97, 97 yeah, uh, cases constructed uh, for comparison. Each uh, respondent got six comparisons, and a comparison means he got two cases, and uh, he had to say which uh, was uh, had his preference. And uh, that was one question it was asked, and the second question which we say, uh, what uh, he had to say, uh, what is the expectation? that you actually will take the course in the preferred case. So I could say, from, well, I, uh, this is my purpose, but I won't ever buy this course because whatever the reason. Now, there is the reference option for each of these comparisons was 100% scenarios, and you see here the, the variables uh, which, are, uh, uh, which we wanted to know about the effects on the choices of the uh, of the, uh, uh, of the shooters. 
So the availability over here is 100 percent. Duration, so this is a study duration, uh, which more or less uh, dependent, of course, about uh, how many hours per week the student uh, uh, wants to uh, study, because most of our students have, have jobs, uh, uh, are, are working, and, and have a family, etc. They are not uh, regular students who go to uh, college uh, in the uh, early, uh, well, the early centuries. The amount of guidance on this is not interactive. Proof of participation uh, is a legal certificate, intensity of guidance. Uh, life of learning subscription is something which uh, is, is a subscription, therefore, a, a little amount per month uh, uh, students can, can access to uh, several services. Uh, uh, so, uh, this could be appealing, for instance, for life of learners who work in a regular, uh, on a regular basis, want to uh, study uh, for, uh, for improving yourself, for instance, in the job. The availability of social media is not available in this uh, reference structure. The page the student can do uh, the uh, can do it itself, and there is this price. The experiment, the sample, uh, has this, uh, is this, so we uh, distinguish between three uh, target groups uh, uh, of age. So youngsters, uh, 25 years or less, uh, 26 to 50 years, and uh, older than 50 years. The, uh, Main or the most of our students fall uh, in this category. Well, now results. The first uh, result uh, which I will present is uh, uh, the, um, with all the other uh, 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 variables in the in the uh, uh, basic option were um, were the same had the same value. We only uh, differ in uh, the availability of the free material. Um, and the, we were asked, and it was asked uh, from uh, which case do you prefer it. Uh, and you see that in uh, overall, that well, um, the 100% scenario is for almost all situations has a little uh, preference, a uh, little, uh, uh, little more. So this one. Uh, is I have to uh, look, is about 61 percent of the people younger than 25 years say I would I would choose the 100 percent scenario, uh, and 39 percent said I would choose the current scenario. And so you see, this uh, uh, keep in mind this 100 percent scenario will not uh, does not mean uh, he has hasn't have to pay anything. He still has to pay for those services. You've seen this basic option. Uh, the price was still uh, uh, had to pay for something. Um, the, the variations of the other influence of the other attributes, uh, when you see uh, price and mode of guidance, when you uh, uh, make variations in that, they have a low positive uh, impact in uh, favor for this 100% uh, scenario. The intensity of guidance is paid service. That's a negative, so when you differ, uh, when you uh, make variations in that variable, uh, it has a negative influence in the choice of this 100% scenario. Uh, and the same is for the lifelong learning subscription. The social media, which are, uh, you don't have to pay for, you only have to register to uh, use it, uh, has a positive but low to medium effect on the choice for this 100% scenario. Then uh, the second question, what is the probability of taking the course? Uh, and we have, um, uh, uh, you see the results for each of these scenarios. So uh, again, only the uh, availability of the older materials is the variable which has changed. The others are the same as the basic option. And you see that, um, well, in almost all uh, age groups, the overall also, you see a little uh, preference, so when, uh, in overall, when uh, the 100% scenario is a little more than 20%, say people, okay, when you offer me the 100% scenario, I would actually take the course, and in the current situation, it is about 18% of the uh, people who, uh, who were asked uh, in this research. Uh, the effect on other, of other variables the influence of the other attributes on this uh, actual taking the course, 
uh, well, you see here the intensity of rise, the space surface uh, is a medium positive effect for the youngsters and the negative effect for the other age group. Uh, Life of women's description has uh, for the youngsters a low positive effect, but the others is negative, so it's not appealing to them. And the social media is low to medium, and uh, what, uh, what was uh, uh, remarkable was that the most appreciation for this social media was in this middle group. So uh, youngsters, uh, they had a, 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 a low uh, impact on, the, uh, uh, on their preference for this 100% scenario, and medium, uh, and uh, uh, all, all the people also. And you would probably expect that for youngsters, it would be more appealing. Well, and the third uh, uh, result, uh, where they were asked, um, you have the choice of this OB course, or you can take only the free content. So this, uh, what would you actually take the course? And you see here, uh, uh, you have to uh, look at it in, uh, yeah, in three parts of each two comparisons, where the scenarios, again, the scenarios, where again, the, uh, the, the availability of open material was here the, the available, which is uh, played here. Um, for the, uh, um, in, uh, this is for the, uh, the, the chance of taking the OU course in the current situation, the 10% and the 100% scenario, you see in each of these, uh, in this, this, and this, you see, uh, yeah, uh, that uh, for the 100% uh, the scenario still has the favor and it is going up. Uh, and But when you ask for them, uh, would you be happy with only the free materials? So would you prefer the free materials instead of this uh, OU course that you have to pay for? Uh, you see that they are little for the 25 and the older. And in the middle uh, group, there is something more, but still uh, lower than uh, uh, the majority who choose actually take the OU course and not be satisfied with only the open materials without any services or anything. And also the conclusion uh, in this that the choice for only free content shows little differences. You see, uh, it was rising each uh, group per age group, but it, it was not. Uh, yeah, it, it was not a steep, uh, steep hill. It was, it was a very uh, little. Uh, so otherwise, it doesn't matter if you do. Only mini courses, 10% or 100% for this, uh, it, is, it has little influence uh, on, on taking the course. So don't be afraid to share 100%, is the conclusion we want to take. There is a note, the standard deviations are large. So this is uh, something which has to be researched more. But these are the first results which are rather promising when you are a fan of this 100% scenario. Well, regarding the extra services, so when you vary from this, uh, the uh, intensive guidance live on learning subscription, they show added value, uh, but the live on learning subscription does not lead to an increase in demand, which was, uh, we could not understand, but the researcher, uh, well, but that is the hypothesis, which we did uh, uh, research, uh, the mighty misunderstanding of the live on learning subscription in this question that people uh, thought wrong about what, what, what would it mean. There is further research. Uh, this is only quantitative uh, research. And, uh, the, the, uh, but why things are as they are, we don't know. So this uh, has to be done. So we have to look for qualitative explanation for you. So, and currently, the same research is done, but done in a, a, a sample of OU students. So students who are already uh, taking courses at, uh, at the Open University, and we expect the results uh, in November. And the total report of this uh, research will be uh, available in the, the first quarter of next year. Is our uh, plan. Thank you. Very pragmatic question. You showed us the revenue for the 100%, or at least you showed us the cost. Um, I assume that part of the pro process here is 
taking each of the scenarios and seeing what the implications will be financially for the institution. Yeah. Is that something you've already done, or because um, it wasn't clear to me what the finances no. were? No, for no, each no. One. That, that, is, that is not. This is only to find out if it is viable. If, if this research would have shown that that no one would ever choose uh, right. uh, for for this for, for paid services or for a paid course if you uh, put every uh, uh, material on the on the web without all this technical element, then we know it, 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 we should not start with it. Well, I'm very sympathetic to to the irony that that open educational resources are more threatening in a certain way to open universities. Hmm. Um, and I also, but I'm also interested in the OLI, which is is flourishing right now. But when their grant funding runs out, which is supposed to I think next year. Um, how will they sustain? So it's it's the same question. Yeah. So I think this is really yeah. interesting. Yeah, that, that is therefore, uh, uh, the MIT says we put all our materials uh, free on the web. And they can do it because yeah. they need, it is only the materials. Yeah. But our current uh, courses, as, as I've shown, they have the teacher Everything's built in, in it. Yeah. So you don't need a teacher anymore. So why would someone go to the OU if you put that for free and therefore that we won't ever, will never do because then, then, then we can uh, we kill ourselves. May, may I just add, this is a, a very important question for all of the open universities. Uh, there's a lot of fear uh, just because of the, could, uh, you could lose a lot of money because people not enroll anymore, <coughs> but take the materials for themselves and it, it's fine. So this result was not expected so much by us. So we're, we're very surprised by this more positive result for the universal scenario. But still, uh, you should be aware that the 100% the scenario is connected to a change in the type of, of course that we're offering. Uh, you have to, because otherwise we are not equal or not in an equal position as the regular universities who are offering content only and of course have a classroom situation in addition to the content. So you'll have to reduce your cost as part of the... Yeah. 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 You said that the 100% is sort of self-determined. So. I, I gather from that the student decides their own pace because they're not getting the tutorials or having to keep up with the current world. How far does that go? Because they can go very far. Uh, people, uh, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure, but uh, maybe you know. Yeah, uh, uh, is it so that when I buy a course, I can do ten years about the course, or is there is there a border? Uh, normally not. Normally not. So, okay. You see, because for me. What, a strength in your model is you appear to be showing using the same components for the material, so you're updating, is keeping track because you're updating for your regular students. But if you allow them in 10 years, it sort of gets a bit out of sync. Uh, 10 years is, 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 is yeah. uh, most, of the, most, of the, uh, most of the students, yeah. when they buy a course, they, they do it within a year. Right. That is the majority. I gather you, uh, I realize you haven't done the qualitative research. Do you think the idea of being self determined was a, a strong? It is, it is. It is now. It is what our students want. Yeah. Uh, the most, most of the students, uh, they, 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 well, they, they have, they have a situation. Uh, they choose for the open university because they can determine themselves when to start, uh, the pace they can determine themselves. Uh, they don't have to be every Tuesday evening uh, in some uh, lecture hall, uh, but they uh, can do it on the, in, in their own room at home. And, and so. Uh, those elements are, are appealing for our students, and, and that includes the self-determination. Because, well, uh, you, you can plan, okay, for the next six weeks I will do this course, but then something happens with your with your children, or, or something happens on your on your job, uh, so you don't have the time, uh, which is, is much less to plan than, than for, for regular students who only study and nothing more, at, at least in the Netherlands. I think in the US, is maybe something different. Yeah, I'm obviously very positive reports for uh, re report for uh, open, open education resort. But I'm, I'm wondering, sort of a corollary uh, to Ross's point, that is the price differential. Like we had a talk here early on about students supporting; they don't want e um, uh, tablets, and a lot of it uh, the complaints against the tablets were because uh, uh, of the pricing of the uh, of the e-books. And the things you could do with them as opposed to print. And for this, was there a big price differential? Or? Um, I, 
actually do it on the top of my head. Uh, that there were three, um, no, there were two, two, uh, two prize, uh, uh, the, the, the prize of the uh, Arsenal and, the, and half of the prize. Yeah. And that and, and among the, the age groups, it, it hard to make a difference. Yeah. So, so uh, yeah, maybe. But no, but the, the pricing for the current scenario and the 100% scenario is more or less the same. There's not much yeah. of a difference. In the, in the basic option, right? So in the basic option, option, of course, in both cases, you can buy additional services. Yeah. Uh, but of course, that, that's for both cases the same. So the pricing for the basic uh, the offering is for the current scenario and the current scenario is, is the same. But your and costs are different per scenario. Sorry? Your costs are yeah. quite different for the three scenarios. Are, well, they are different, but not that much, because we're still offering, I'd say, the treatment guidance, uh, but not in the content material, but in the, the material on the side. So we split the... Okay. Uh, but the it could be, from could be that, that, uh, that in the course development, that in 100% scenario, those, those costs could be uh, something higher than in the current situation, where you don't have to uh, think about uh, to split those components. Yeah. But that is not, not to say it's only uh, uh, something I, it's an hypothesis of myself, it is not very like You can also use resources from others uh, in, yeah. in a much easier way, so it's not, mm. not so sure that it will be more expensive at all. No. No. Forward to the chapter. <laughs> <laughs> Take it to your questions. Uh, <laughs> it's I, uh, it crossed my mind, uh, Fred. It crossed my mind. Yeah. Okay. Thank you.